I like this next question. If you could change one thing in your life or in general, Congressman, what would that be? And you can interpret this really 30,000 feet up or local. Or well, I wouldn't be 30,000 feet up. I'd be about 6'2", though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I take a lot of pictures, and uh, I'm always the short guy in, in, yeah. the, in the photo. Politicians I can relate, tend to be larger, but I yeah. digress. Uh, so, no, I, I'm, I'm only half <laughs> joking about that. There, there are a lot of things I would change about the political system right now, okay. and uh, that's what I'm most focused on. Mm -hmm. I, and I, I think the main thing I would change is that we get much more honest about in our dialogue about very complex issues, and mm -hmm. we we resist the temptation, we fight the temptation to simplify and uh, to um, trivialize many of the issues. Mm -hmm. And we do that all the time. The media is complicit in that. The media tries to. Sim particularly the broadcast media, they tr no, this show is accepted, of course, uh, they try to uh, condense the issues to a few buzzwords and because sound that's the format, the, sound bites, nowadays, that, yeah, right, that's right. The, the format that most media work in and they try to promote conflict as well because conflict's more interesting than agreement. Sure. So when you're talking about a very complex issue, whether it's uh, energy or health care or immigration, or, mm -hmm. as we do all the time, uh, we tend to do, we tend to just fall into a camp, one camp or the other and use these sound bites and these right. buzzwords, and we don't ever have a real dialogue about the issue. And okay. until we do that, finding a solution to a lot of these problems is going to be really difficult. Do you foresee a sea change down the road? Is it doable, or is it just a state of where our society has grown to through technology and whatnot? Well, I think what we've seen in response, uh, so far in response to the political, the mm -hmm. presidential campaign this year, is the American people clearly want that. I think that's the one lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, they want people who are not going to be partisan. They want people who are going to look for solutions. Right. They're going to look for people who try to bring us together rather than drive us apart. And whether that's Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton or, or uh, John McCain, the voters will decide, but I think sure. the, the evidence is all there and overwhelming that that's what people want. So politicians, typically being followers and not leaders, <laughs> I think will probably, uh, that's a good sign. I think probably they will mm -hmm. tend to do and emphasize the things that they perceive the voters want. Um, I hope that's the case and I hope the voters okay. stay engaged because if the, if, the, if the voting public doesn't stay engaged in the process past just the election, mm -hmm. then Politicians will lapse back into their bad habits. Good point. <laughs>